good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. On to race number five, which will be a jackpot two. It's over 2,000 meters, www.galloptv.co.za. Merit rate at 65, and of course, Gallup TV is your gateway to KZN and international racing, including the dogs, the greyhounds. If you haven't seen dog racing, well, tune into Gallup TV. There's some uh, super greyhound racing that comes through from down under. Okay, race number five, guys, over 2,000 meters, and uh, whilst we make this a race, you can possibly build a case for most of these runners. I'm going to go and take a stance and say there's only three horses that you need here for the pick six and uh, the place accumulates are like Coromandel. I'm going to give you my three horses, Ryle, and then we'll see what you have to say. Uh, number one, Coromandel, Lorenzo Karim. Uh, yeah, it was just a, a positive ride from the front last time out. Uh, got a soft lead and just kept finding all the way to the line. I was actually surprised the way this horse won so well over seven furlongs. Wasn't pushed up too much in the ratings. I say wasn't pushed up too much from a 60 to a 64 uh, because the source has run well off a higher mark as well. Nicely drawn at one. The horse that gets 2,200 meters, so this is more his game. If he gets a soft lead and the others are caught napping here, like he won over seven furlongs, I can see a horse like this run all the way to the line, but maybe when I look at some of his previous starts and the way they've raced him over further he could be given a chance from the draw but it's a small field regardless of the way they ride him the way the stable is and the fact that he won so well last time out is going to be my top choice my second choice is actually going to be number eight fever at around six to one dennis boss's runner uh, course and distance ideal seven starts three wins and last time out, uh, well, Galabia got away and that was it. The balance we're chasing was only beaten two and a half lengths. And although he was well beaten at his penultimate start, it is a form line to follow. Victory just winning, Royce Command has won three in a row and Galabia a subsequent winner. So I think you can expect a good run from number eight, Fever. And then number two, Living Waters. Now, Ryle, this fella, he seems to run his best races coming from off the pace. And he often leaves a mountain to climb at the business. And I've gone for him on many occasions where he's just had too much of work to do. But then I look at the draws. He's lost many starts. So look at them. 12 out of 12, 10 out of 10, 8 out of 8, 10 out of 11, 9 out of 12, 12 out of 12, 10 out of 12, 8 out of 8. He hasn't got a draw. And I don't know whether it's because of the draw that they just choose to drop him out and let him run on, or that's the way he enjoys racing. But the fact is he gets to draw now, and I like the fact that they have included the blinkers as well. Maybe he could be a bit more alert out the starting stalls. I don't want him to be in front. I'm not suggesting that in any way. But I'm saying if he gives himself a chance or Rachel gives him a chance and sits midfield, he's the type of horse that has got a very good turn of foot, 400 to finish. I don't think there's many that can match him in this field, so he's going to get my nod for that third spot. And as I mentioned, I'm going to only go three horses in the pick six, one, eight, and two. How do you see it? Wider? I've included just one more horse. Yes. So I've gone four horses in the pick six. My top choice is number eight, Fever. Got it right, uh, teams up with Dennis Bosch. I've made him a horse to watch out for. He's a horse that has slowly dropped in the ratings. He ran a cracking race last time out, beaten two and a half lengths by Galabia. And that was on a mark of 59. As Dees mentioned, he's a course and distance specialist. And I think uh, Fever from the draw, he will get into a nice spot turning form and he'll be running on powerfully. And I think that he's now back in form and Fever's at around 6 to 1. He's going to be the value at, in the race for me. I think Living Waters, my thinking was exactly the same as you. Blinkers on, drawn in gate number 2. I think that the blink blinkers are going to make a huge difference. I don't think he's going to be as far off them as he normally is. Normally is. Much better draw, so he's going to be no more than five lengths off, I think, turning form and living waters. I think that he's going to be right there. Coromandel and Extract are the two horses that I've included for third and fourth. 
I don't think that Coromandel is going to get an easy lead given that Extract gets the four cages off the back and he's a horse that enjoys going to the front. He has had three tries on the poly track for three blanks, but he's, the distance is no issue for him. He has won over 2,400. So I think that Extract is a horse that uh, must be respected with the four cages off the back. He ran in a competitive race last time out when he was just beaten by Whispers of War. I know the average rating there was a 63, but they were... It was a competitive race with quite a few uh, you know, proper handicapping horses in that race. So Extract is another horse that I throw in into those trifectas and quartets and as well into the pick six. So those will be my four numbers, eight, two, one and four in no particular order for that third and fourth position. You think uh, Yadav Singh's got a line to the weatherman because he was uh, quite uh, clever in entering his horses on both days. And now that Sunday is gone, I mean, this has played right into his hands. And I, I mean, that could be... Uh, the winning move. Imagine if that works out because, you know, Picara, I'm in the same boat with Picara earlier on today, you know, so this could be the same thing and yeah, I think that, that could be the thinking here. Distance-wise with the extract, I mean, I, I know that he's a horse that's got 21 over 2200 meters. You want this kid to ride him positive. There's no other way that I can see this kid, you know, doing anything else but going to the front. He's going to go to the front with that four cages off, so 52 and a half on his back, and I think he's going to run his best races from up there. He sh I think he'll, he will be given a soft lead. I don't think that Anton will really try I think to that's what Anton will want, but I think yes. Anton knows. I know I got the speed to get yeah. there, but let me get a nice lead it, into that's that. That's it. That's it. I think he'll uh, rather let the kid go to the front in, with Infanello Zuma aboard and extract. I think he'll set some decent fractions in this race, and turning form. He'll try to skip at the top of the lane and we'll see how he does go at, uh, so I think including trifectas and quartet. So you, 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 you've learned the rule now, you've gone four out of nine. <laughs> if you went five, then it was a field. Right? Exactly, exactly. That's why I had to drop the fifth choice and go <laughs> four horses. So, so. Okay, Ryle's uh, given you one uh, horse to add along with uh, the three that we've selected. In order of preference, we're going we're gonna to give our selection. I'm going one, eight, two. I know Ryle's going eight. Two, one and four. Eight, no two, one and four. But our numbers four. are there. And the race number five, well, you've got something to play around. Maybe you can grab a few trifectas and exactors with those four horses from the Gallup uh, Gold Circle TV preview show. Yep, so we will mention Gallup as well. We're all part of the same family. But all the best here, race number five. <laughs> The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. Uh, I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah.